Hello my friends and welcome back to a new reading challenge video. Another month has passed and it's time to set the challenge for May. In April, I had set two different challenges. One of them was to read books that are very colorful because it was starting to look like spring outside, flowers were blooming, all of that. So it was that, so design of the cover had to be colorful. And the other topic was to select some historical fiction, some books that are taking place during a different time period. I had in total four books on this challenge, although one of them I don't really count because the rose coat I was supposed to finish back in March and I didn't, so I carried it over into April. So that leaves me really with three books. And the three were, or let's start with the two that I had for the colorful cover topic, um, Mother Thing and Pizza Girl. Very uh, quick reads, they were short, so yes, I finished these. I'm happy to say I did, and they're off of my TBR. Um, liked them a lot. They were both very unique, very unique um, characters, very unique voices in this book. So I'll talk more about that during my uh, reading wrap up video. The other historical fiction novel I had picked was The Lady of the Rivers by Philippa Gregory. And you can tell I only have the paper here, so I am still reading it. But I have a couple of days left and I am very confident that I will finish it. So I'll say check mark in parentheses. Um, this book is very interesting and uh, I'm loving it so far. I'm, I don't know, about one third into it, I would say. And the time period is, yeah, very interesting to me, very new to me. It's during Joan of Arc and when Britain was ruling France or trying to rule France and yeah, loving it. So I will talk more about these in my next video. Um, I always usually announce the amount of books that are still on my TBR from my original TBR because these challenges are to really get rid of my old books. So I should have done the calculations before recording this video. I did not, shame on me, but I will put them down here so you'll see how many books are still left and how many I've read since January. Um, I think the result is pretty good so far. I'm very confident I will finish them all this year. So. Let's talk about May. My May challenge, and feel free to join if you can, um, is to read the May, which means I will read books that start with the three letters of May. So one book that starts with the letter M, the other that starts with A, and then one that starts with Y. And feel free to interpret this freely. It could be an M, could be the author's name, or it could be the title, or it could be somewhere in the title if you don't have a book that starts with the M. So feel free. I surprisingly found three books that did start with the respective letters. So the titles start with, titles started with the respective letters. So let me show you. The book that I picked for the letter M is Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. And I have read The Virgin Suicides by the author either earlier this year or at the end of last year. Anyways, it was a book that I thought was fantastic. So I got Middlesex and I've only heard great things about this. So my expect expectations are very high. It also did win the Pulitzer Prize. So yeah, expectations are up here, but I am very confident that it can live up to it. In the novel, we are following the Stefanides family who moves from Asia Minor to Prohibition era Detroit and they essentially flee a war-torn country to live in America and live the American dream. And one of the family members is Calliope or Cal. And as the title says, there is something, um, yeah, Calliope is different because she was born a baby girl and then born again to become a boy. So I think it is a novel about, yeah, the American dream one and like a family that comes from abroad finding their roots in America, but also about gender, identity, finding your place. And so very interested um, for this one. The book I picked for the letter Y is Yonder by Jabari Azim. It is historical fiction and we follow the lives of William and Kato, who are two slaves. Um, they're living on a plantation in the deep south and their life is harsh because not only are they being 
yeah, taken advantage of as slaves, but also um, their owner is a very brutal, a very, yeah, malicious man. So there's a lot of suffering in this book. Uh, we learn about their lives, about what it means to live during those times, what it means if you fall in love with someone in your position, and yeah, how to maybe break free from these chains. I have not seen this book in many places, but I am looking forward to reading it, to learning more about this um, time in history. And yeah, it's a very important topic. So uh, looking forward. And then, yeah, the last book for the letter A. I am not sure if I am emotionally ready for this book, but it's the only one I have that starts with the letter A. I have been pushing this um, out and out, and I don't know if you have this. Like, I know that this book will be fantastic. I know that it will be very emotional, but I know it will take a lot from me. So I have been pushing it out, but we're gonna do this. We're going to read A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I know this book um, has been all over booktube, all over bookstagram, everywhere, and I'm finally uh, reading this uh, big piece. It has, let's see, yeah, over 700 pages, so it is a lot. I know we follow the story of four friends as they move to New York City from Cambridge, and we follow their friendship and their lives, um, the ups and downs in their lives. I know there is a lot about childhood trauma and yeah mentally what that means um, the wounds that you carry with you later in life and so i expect to be crying um we'll see how it goes but yeah i know i'm gonna be a mess let's face it i know i will be a mess uh, but i am looking forward <laughs> regardless and yeah you will find out later how it went how much i really cried so these are the three books for my May uh, reading list and I could not be any happier. I mean, look at this. These are some fantastic titles. I cannot wait. Um, if you've picked any books for your May reading challenge, let me know down below. I always love to hear what you guys are reading. And other than that, I just wish you a great rest of the day. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and till next time. Bye bye.